there is definitely a change in perspective that is coming online here and at the current moment it's causing some aggressive energies and the reason why it's causing this aggressive energy is because there's a sense of lack of security. Some of us, many of us are losing a comfort zone or a sense of stability that was once that once worked for us, but doesn't quite work for us any longer. And what we're needing to do right now is trust the universe, have faith in the universe and allow the universe to carry us forward. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So, happy Tuesday, yes? I hope you guys had a good Monday. Sorry about the technical difficulties yesterday and it getting taking so long for a morning coffee to get out. That was a shit show, but it's okay. It's a new day. I hope you guys are feeling well. Um, it is Tuesday, so we are doing happy hour tonight. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I am going to uh, plan on going live <clears throat> on Instagram for a collective reading before that. So if you guys would like to check it out and tune in, you are more than welcome to join, and if you would like to get in on the list, all of the information is in the description box below. Yes? Okay, I don't really have anything um, to start with today. Um, oh! Somebody shared with me yesterday, she goes by the name of Turquoise Majesty on uh, Instagram, um, but she shared with me yesterday a video that I actually want to share with you guys. It's about the 555 portal, which is tomorrow. <laughs> now, uh, now, as with all of these like portals and shifts and everything, you have to keep in mind that it everything, like yes, this is going to be, this is a lot of great change um, that's coming. A lot of DNA activations, according to the channeled message that this individual shared in the video that I do want to share with you guys. Uh, link up here, maybe, if I can get everything to work. Um, if not, the link is definitely in the description box below. Um, sharing that with you guys because it's a really, it's really, it's some really good information and it's helping to explain a lot of what we're dealing with right now. Um, but like with any of these portals, you know, it starts on like the day but then time it takes time for things to really to for the activations to come online and for things to happen and you have to keep in mind that not everybody is going to go through the shifts and the changes and the activations all at the same time it all depends on where you are in your personal journey and the speed at which you can handle shifts activations changes and upgrades yeah but i definitely want to share that video with you guys because it was a great source of information thank you so much to turquoise majesty for sharing that with me yesterday it really helped to put things into perspective and i do want to um give a shout out to the universe because yesterday i was in a place where i was like i don't know what's going on maybe i need to get a reading maybe i need like where can i find some information and it's not like i was actively seeking it but that was just a thought that was in my mind um, and it was something that I was really feeling like I, and I, I rarely get readings from other people but in certain energetic cycles um, or just in certain energetic situations I do find that it actually might be better for me to instead of just sitting back and wondering about it there are moments where it's like I feel like I want to reach out to someone for some sort of clarity or reading or something like that and the universe came through and came through hard body like Turquoise Majesty shared so much information with me yesterday that was so incredibly on point that I am like I'm like yes universe okay thank you 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 are listening you can hear me so thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah so we're gonna continue with our plan here or our our uh, trajectory I guess we can say going with the vice versa tarot today and then getting uh, clarity from the a witch's tarot and then as usual we will cross the oracle bridge when we get there all right kids let's get into it and see what we've got for today here we go hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. 
Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So what have we got for today? What's the deal? What's the dillio, yo? <laughs> when was the last time you heard that? What's the dillio, yo? Yikes. <laughs> alrighty. Overall energy, we do have the Five of Pentacles. On the other side of the Five of Pentacles, however, is the Sun. Yet it is the sign of the Sun in which we have the child that's normally on the card with the horse, but on this side they're behind walls. Um, and this can either be a positive or a negative. You can there is a sense of, and maybe it's just the situations that the, the energy that we're in right now, but the feeling that I'm getting from the sun at this moment is that we're kind of feeling a little bit boxed in. There is almost a sense of panic with this card, but that's just what the underlying feelings are. The And, and that's kind of coming from here, the five of pentacles, and then one of the other cards that's come out here, but I'll, I'll we'll get there in a second. The, 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 the message, though, with the sun here is um, that things are not as bad as they seem. You might find yourself with the sun rising here. I do feel like the sun is rising. You can either say, say that the sun is setting or rising in this card, just like the death card with the opposite side of that card. But um, anyway, th that came out yesterday. But um, for, this, for this situation... It might feel like the sun is setting in a way, but it's not. The sun is coming up. Things are getting brighter. Things are becoming illuminated. But also, there's a there's a slight energy of panic, or there is an, also an energy of wanting to fight against something. Maybe being reactionary, um, or, or react is it reactionary or reactive? Whichever, in, uh, reacting instead of responding. And this kind of feels like almost knee-jerk reactions, you know what I mean? Like fight or flight type of energy. <clears throat> but it's really not as bad as it seems. And I feel like with the sun rising here, which to me represents the, um, the, the rising of awareness, really, you might be realizing how you may feel boxed in or you may have been boxed in or you might just feel boxed in at this moment because I, and I'm getting that from the walls that are here. It's like this kid is behind. It, it looks like this kid could be in a safe place. <sighs> Interesting, because now that I'm looking at this card from... Uh, there are two warriors or guards that are standing on the wall. And now I'm kind of also getting a little bit of an energy of maybe being on the outside looking in. And yet I still feel like, I still feel like there's an energy of maybe you might feel boxed in a little bit. Okay, but you're aware, but awareness is shifting and changing and you're, I think you are becoming aware. Now, 
you might feel boxed in or you might feel like an outsider. Okay. However, there is an underlying sense of compassion and empathy, yes, and if you are in the energy of feeling like you're an outsider, there's a reason for that. And it's not because you're an outcast or a bad person or a black sheep or something like that. There, There is a real reason for it, and it's a good reason. I, I, I kind of feel like you, it, it's, you're better off being on the outside, looking back in, than being back in there because I feel like that if that's where you it's that if that's where you feel you are right now you have come out of that and maybe there's a sense of secu <clears throat> security that you're missing that could be feeding into this kind of panicky energy and yet you're better off with the sun here you're better off on the outside because you do have greater stability and also greater autonomy in this current position, even if it doesn't necessarily look like that right now, because remember, the sun is starting to rise. So darkness is starting to dissipate. And this is really just only the beginning is kind of what I want to say here. This is the Four of Wands also. The Four of Wands is representing a sense of stability, inner stability with uh, uh, stability within the self. Underneath the Four of Wands is the Magician, not the Magician, I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune, but it's the side of the Wheel of the Fortune that has the Magician on it. So to me, this is saying that you are creating the change that is necessary for yourself, okay? And all of this change is coming from a change in perspective. You have the Hanged Man with the Ace of Cups and then the Knight of Swords. So there's that fight or flight energy of the Knight of Swords. And the main message that I'm getting right now excuse me, the first message that came through as these cards were coming out was time to love the self right now. Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups was the first card that came out. And as soon as the Ace of Cups came out, I was like, I heard and I felt, okay, um, self-love is the, is the objective, is the goal here. Um, in some cases, I'm hearing self-gratification. Okay. Um, some of you may need to really allow yourself to indulge a little bit right now because uh, of the, the shifts and the changes. It, like This Ace of Cups energy is making me feel like we have to be extra careful with ourselves right now. We have to be extra compassionate, extra loving, extra nurturing towards ourselves right now, okay? Because there is definitely a change in perspective that is coming online here and at the current moment it's causing some aggressive energies knight of swords and the what i'm getting from that the reason why it's causing this aggressive energy is because there's a sense of lack of security but that doesn't mean you're not secure some of us many of us are losing a comfort zone or a sense of stability that was once that once worked for us, but doesn't quite work for us any longer. And what we're needing to do right now is trust the universe, have faith in the universe, and allow the universe to carry us forward, okay? But there is still a little bit of an aggressive energy, like don't, like, don't rub me the wrong way, don't come at me with the wrong thing, like don't ruffle my feathers or you're gonna, you're gonna get a beat down or some shit, you know what I mean? And I only say it like that because it's the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is a fighter, but I mean, I'm not, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's get one more shuffle from this deck and then we'll get into some clarity. Yeah, so what else do we want to say about these energies right now, please, Spirit? Okay, so you may not necessarily be aware of it yet, but you but and maybe we are i don't know okay the sun is at the bottom of the deck now that makes sense but it's the other side of the card just and it makes sense just because of how i just shuffled them but um the sun is at the bottom of the deck it is the opposite side of the card here so the, there is definitely some illumination that's happening again it it's not as bad as we feel like it is right now it really is it okay the sun is one of the most optimistic cards in the deck all right, so no matter what's going on around you, when the sun comes out, positive things are happening, even if it may not look like it or feel like it on the surface. On the other side of the deck, you do have the Ten of Wands. So coupled with the Knight of Swords energy here, okay, and the awareness that's coming through, 
there is a sense of cutting away the old boundaries and the old burdens. But that makes perfect sense because we've been talking about that over the last few months. What else has come out here is the Fool with the Ten of Cups. Now, the Fool is here and the Sun is rising on this Fool card, okay? I, it could be rising or setting. <clears throat> I just really feel like the Sun is rising for us right now. And with the Ten of Cups here, it being this side of the Ten of Cups in which we have like two what looks like castaways that are, that have maybe recently found each other or reconnected with each other or found a connection within each other, found a bond, found some sort of common ground that's helping them not, helping their situation not be so bad, I guess you could say. Uh, this is definitely a sense of community here, so us being in this group together. Um, but there's also a sense of relief with the Ten of Cups. And this feels like it's a, a future energy, all right? The Fool with the Ten of Cups here. You're about to take a leap of faith towards something that has much greater emotional value for you. However, before you can get there, you have to become aware of all of the burdens that you've been carrying that you need to let go of. And that's part of this kind of like fight or flight type energy, or maybe it's a little doomsday-ish, or whatever is kind of making you on edge, putting you on edge. There really is no pressure to release any of these things in any certain given amount of time, okay? You do not have to force yourself or rush yourself into letting go of or releasing something that is not that you're not ready to let go of or release yet most of this panic energy most of this fight or flight energy that i'm feeling right now is uh okay i just heard it described as overzealous i don't want that to come across as like flippant or dismissive um it's it's coming from a, a sense of anxiety Okay, so if you find yourself getting into an energy where you're like, you're super reactionary and like you're really on edge and super triggered and all like that and everything like that, just keep in mind that um, you don't want to take any real action from that place. If you find yourself getting really anxious or really like going crazy with it, take some time to like rest, meditate. To work on calming your mind, work on changing your focus or something like that. Try and ease yourself back off of that, off this aggressive energy, because this is not where we want to act from, okay? It just, it's just not, it's dangerous. And you know what's interesting? Um, this is actually reflecting a dream that I had yesterday before I got up that morning. Um, I actually dreamt that I had a gun and I was going to, I was going to like, use the gun to to shoot something to like destroy some sort of like inanimate object or something like that but i decided not to because in the dream i was in an apartment building and i, I mean i could have like logically i thought to myself well i sh really shouldn't be shooting this gun right now because who knows what's going to happen to this bullet like yeah okay i'm using this to like i don't even remember what i was doing it was something it was not like a human being or anything it was something that i was i guess trying to destroy or something like that and i was like well yeah i mean i could shoot it off into the air and potentially it won't hit anybody but i don't but i don't know that like once that bullet goes it goes and it's just going to it's going to do something and you know the whole butterfly effect and everything right so instead of doing that, I decided not to shoot the gun. Like I had, I had um, uh, taken the safety off and everything like that. But, but I was thinking about it logically, and I was like, you know, there are a lot of people around me. I'm in an apartment building. This bullet could end up anywhere. I could hurt somebody. I could kill somebody. Let me not do this. So I actually took the bullet out of the gun and put the gun away. And that's kind of what I'm feeling like this Knight of Swords energy is. Okay, there's probably a sense of extreme defensiveness right now. That is definitely what I'm picking up on. Um, but the fight or flight energy is not is not cute. And I'm not trying to judge anybody for being in that type of space. But but we are trying to bring this to the forefront of your mind so that you can be aware of it. So that when you find yourself sinking into that energy, you can 
kind of have a a heads up and be like aware of it and be like, whoa, okay, maybe I should take a step back for a second. Not, and that is not to devalue or invalidate your feelings or, or, or devalue what it is you're going through in no way, shape or form. It's just that this energy is not where we want to be reacting from. We want to be responding with love, but mostly love and compassion for the self right now. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get some clarity. Five shuffles here. One. Um, I think I want to start with the hanged man. Let's talk about this change in perspective that's coming online. This is two. There is a sense of relief coming from the Ten of Cups. I'm looking at it and it's almost like three. three. Um, it's like, oh, finally. I don't know exactly when this is going to happen. But there is definitely a sense of relief that's on the in the works here for you. Even if it's just like a minor, it seems a minor thing, it actually is going to be much better for you than you may originally or initially think. This is four. Maybe a few months down the road is what I'm feeling. This is five. But y'all know, I don't really work with time. Because time is an illusion. Yay. Okay. So, look at that. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck already is the Ace of Cups again. All right? So, self-love and compassion is so key right now. And that doesn't mean that you can't be compassionate for others. Because you have to keep in mind, you're going through some shit. Homeboy down the block is going through some shit. Homegirl, homegirl down the block is going through some shit. Shit. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and quote Ralph Smart. Maybe even the cat down the road is going through some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you got... we. There, we're in a massive time of change, but mostly the biggest focus of this change right now collectively is a change in perspective, the cha changing the way that you see yourself, changing the way that you see your life, changing the way you see the world around you. Like I said yesterday, changing the way you show up in the world. But the only way that you can show up differently is if you see differently. The hanged man, okay? All right, so let's get some clarity on that. What's this hanged man energy, please, Spirit? What is this change in perspective here? Okay. Interesting. All right, so six of wands is at the bottom of the deck. That is beautiful, all right? Uh, and I guess the way that I want to say this is in some cases, it feels like we are finally letting go of the heartbreak, finally coming to terms with it, finally breaking ourselves free from the madness, from the illusion, from the mental prisons, from feeling stuck, from feeling like you can't escape. But this is coming from being aware of our emotions. Three of Swords. Eight of Swords. Queen of Cups and judgment, or in this deck, it's karma. But this literally feels to me like getting down to the bottom of what it is we're truly feeling, finally facing shit, finally taking the, f uh, this I'm feeling very specifically, for those of us that have been flow vibing with the twin flame journey, this is really specific, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Um, well, it's really specific, but it feels very strong. It's at the forefront of this message, so I'm going to go ahead and say it. It feels like we're finally take, st taking a step back and removing our focus from the other individual, or even if you don't resonate with the Twin Flame journey and you're still going through this energy, there's an energy of feeling like taking the focus off of the other people or the other instances in our life, everything external to us, and finally going within and focusing on it and feeling through it, coming to terms with it, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, to help break us out of what has been closed us, holding us up, Eight of Swords, finally rising above that judgment, okay? Yeah. Let's talk about the Knight of Swords here, since that is a pretty strong topic right now. Let's talk about the Knight of Swords. What is this... Knight of Swords energy, please, Spirit. Mm. 
Wow. Okay, so in, in some cases, people are actually, f yo, all right, Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck again. And what I was going to say is it feels like in some cases, some of us are actually fighting back. Maybe even finally fighting back. Holy shit. Ooh. Okay, so... In terms of this Knight of Swords energy, this pretty aggressive energy, right? Kind of fight or, fight or flight type of energy, yes. Uh, yeah, there is definitely an energy of fighting back now. Some of, uh, and I really want to caution against being too aggressive and really trying to stick it to anybody or trying to get back at anybody. Revenge is not a good idea right now. And what actually... I mean, I was going to say revenge is not a good idea anyway, but what Spirit just said to me as I said that was, it's definitely not a good idea right now just because everything is hyper, super sensitive at the moment. There is hyper awareness going on here. And it almost feels like they're saying the universe will be even more focused on that energy now than maybe they have been in the past. But I guess the translation really is the... The guidelines are a little different right now. Uh, really aggressive energies and backstabbing energies and vindictive energies and everything like super low vibrational like that is going to be handled differently now than it has been in the past. But that's because we're shifting. That's because we're moving into a higher vibratory rate and there is no space or place for that type of energy. Okay. It almost feels like the rules have changed a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how how else to describe it other than it just, it feels like, uh, well, maybe maybe it's not that the rules have changed. Maybe it's just that we've shifted into a new environment, energetic environment, where it's, the rules are a little different. Okay, fine, whatever. But what's come out here, to clarify the Knight of Swords, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Six of Pentacles talking about balance between give and take, reciprocity. The Nine of Cups represents personal satisfaction. And then the Wheel of Fortune is this change in the dynamic. What also has come out here is the Page of Swords, but the Page of Swords is in reverse and it actually fell out on the pile that is the Hanged Man and its clarifiers. So what that is saying to me here is there is definitely a level up. You've gone from being in this almost naive, almost immature, uh, um, and I don't mean that in a in, in a, an offensive way. I mean a lack of maturity in terms of maybe just a lack of experience. We'll call it that. Not necessarily maturity, but a lack of experience. Uh, an energy that kept you in this cycle, whatever it is you're breaking out of, whatever whether this is twin flame or not, breaking out of the... Um, the mind space or the, the the energetic space in which you're like, well, let me just keep giving this a try. Maybe there's more that I can learn. Maybe there's more that I can do. Like, let me try and, you know, figure this out because the, the page of swords is like the sentry or the scout or the spy or whatever, right? Well, the page of swords is in reverse. And to me, this is saying, I no, 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 no. I'm not looking into this any longer. We're not going to hash this out any longer. We're not going to try and work this out any longer. I'm pissed. I'm done. You've gone from the page of swords energy. Fuck this is what I'm feeling. Fuck that. I'm here now. Knight of swords. And I'm going to aggressively fight for balance in reciprocity, satisfaction, and I'm going to make this change happen. Wheel of fortune. So with all that said, this knight of swords energy isn't so bad. Okay, quite frankly, this Knight of Swords energy actually can be a reflection of you. Ooh, chow, look at this. This actually Knight of Swords energy, depending on how you work with it, can be a reflection of this sense of self-love and compassion that you're giving to yourself. Because, and ultimately, that is bringing justice into your life and onto your path. Justice with the Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck underneath the Ace of Cups. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I'm feeling curious. So let's talk about the fool here now. All right. <clears throat> wow. 
last one and then we'll get our oracle guidance. So, fool here, spirit. What can you tell us about that? <laughs> okay. Well, shit. And it's interesting because this is exactly what I was feeling like. You're not ready for this quite yet. At the bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. Again, excellent. Overcoming. Overcoming this, the challenges, overcoming struggles, overcoming battles. Okay. Um, but you're not quite ready for this yet. What I was feeling like is the fool here is talking about us taking a leap of faith, embarking on a new journey, getting in that new cycle. But it felt like it's not quite there yet. Like you're not quite ready to take this leap of faith yet. You're still preparing. Well, what came out to clarify? The world. <laughs> so right, we're in this energy right here, right now of completions. Cycles ending. And working on manifesting the new ones. Okay? And then from there, we will end up taking a leap of faith. Literally, we're going from the end of the major arcana right here. This is where we are right now. Next step is the next leap of faith or the next cycle, okay? Right now, though, the focus here is on the awareness. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have Strength. The focus right now is the awareness and the overcoming of the obstacles and the taming of the ego and the building of our own personal strength. Building, the building of our own personal strength, okay? Okay. I love that. All right, so we're gonna get Oracle Guidance today, um, and I'm being called to use the Earth Warriors deck. So let's do that. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Do you guys hear the cow? I've never seen them, but every morning, well not every morning, but every once in a while in the morning, I'll hear some cows off in the distance. It's really nice. All right, closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Okay. Excellent. We have card number 33, and that's been a repeating number for a lot of us for the last few weeks. But we have card number 33, Intikana. Intikana, child of the light. There is a divine light that does not cast a shadow, nor does it cast judgment, even though it reveals truth, a truth that is sometimes hard to acknowledge and requires that we change our ways. True divine light is healing. It is unifying. It brings hope and, illu and illumines the way. Other sorts of light exist on this planet that are not so pure nor so helpful. Those sorts of light may appear stunningly bright, yet in effect create separation and increase ego. You can recognize genuine divine presence not by how dazzling it may appear at first, but by what your devotion to the light, to the to that divine light, evokes in your heart and in your world. In a reading, this card says, "Trust your feeling over appearances. Move away from influences that create fear, negativity, or doubt in you. Reach out for that which uplifts your heart. Spiritual protection is being offered." Refuse to be dazzled by ego masquerading as something spiritual. Through your prayers and efforts, spiritual light has been accumulating on the inner planes, even though you may not sense that consciously yet. 
There will be an intersection of events and circumstances in your physical world through which that light shall pour forth and manifest itself as grace. Continue with your spiritual devotion. There is something truly good to come of it. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Hopefully, also, I'll get to see you guys tonight for happy hour, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But if not, I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>